What's going on guys? I'm Alex from Tech. How are you doing? Android messages for the web just came out for my phone or just pushed through to my phone. And on the right here, you do see my computer screen. On the left is my phone screen. All you have to do is scan the QR code from your, your text message app. And voila, it instantly synced. Wow, that was really quick. That really just updated it. So my computer screen has my entire log, current log of my Android messages. Very, very simple. All you have to do is click those three buttons on the top of your phone and go to the Android messages for the web. That really is simple. And I'm sorry you guys can't see the actual messages for privacy reasons. I don't want my contacts to lose their privacy because of these videos. But we have Lita here. Uh, let's send her a message. She should be responding to us soon. She's in her office right now. So I think she uh, I think she has her phone on her. Uh, but yeah, you can type on your keyboard, send the message through the web on any computer. I'm currently using my, uh, my Mac Pro, my really old Mac Pro right now. And it works. It's, just, it's using the browser, so it really doesn't matter what device you use. As long as you can access the internet, you can actually use Android messages. And... There we go. Lita just sent us a message. Yes, I can see it. And my phone just went to sleep. I need to turn that back on. But as you can see for that brief second there, it was a basically a live simultaneous synced reply. And yeah, I guess Lita is typing it on hers too. And we got it. We saw it. We can type it back to her. As you can see, it's synced and it's almost live. It's almost exactly the same. Whatever's going on in your phone is almost exactly the same time as whatever's going on on your on your um, computer screen. And just really quickly, you can also check in on what devices you're signed into. So you can have multiple phones, uh, I mean, sorry, multiple computers, laptops, even I, I think you can even do it on tablets. Not that you would need to because you have Android messages there as well, uh, if you have LTE that is. Once again, I'm Alex with Sipnotech. I thought this was just really exciting. This is kind of like Android iMessage of sorts and we're kind of closing the gap in the Android space and it's really exciting to see something like this roll out and uh, yeah I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this video be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit the bell button below so that you don't miss a single video in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!